Hey guys and welcome back to Art for the Week. Uh, this week what we're going to make is called a self-portrait. Some of you might know what a self-portrait is and some of you might not. A self-portrait is a drawing, a painting, a picture um, of yourself that you created. So only you can make a self-portrait of yourself. If you make a painting or drawing of someone else, it's called a portrait, not a self-portrait. All right. Um, so we've done this before uh, and we've done it in a few different ways in my class because Making a uh, self-portrait is an important part of being an artist, expressing who you are. Uh, so there's this way we're going to do it a little bit different. I know who you guys are as people, um, and, but I want to see who you are as artists. And what does that mean? Well, every artist has its own sense of style. This is what makes one artist's artwork look different than another, right? Okay, so what makes your artworks unique to you? That's what I want to see from you guys. So I've got a few slides um, in just a moment that I'm gonna show you of a bunch of famous artists and a bunch of self-portraits that they've created of themselves. So we can kind of get it kind of, so we can kind of get an idea of what it is to be an artist that creates a self-portrait of yourself. All right, take a look. Have you ever heard of the artist Pablo Picasso? Pa Picasso is probably one of the most famous artists ever to exist. He invented a style of art called Cubism. If you see on the middle slide, uh, here's a picture of some musical instruments he has on a table in a room. But they're a little different looking than they normally would be in real life. He took uh, what he saw and he turned it into simple shapes and kind of distorted it slightly. You can see the same style in his self-portrait. His face looks like him, but it looks different. It's more exaggerated, the shapes are more um, stretched out. The eyes are bigger and more round than they normally would be. The angles are more harsh. Um, the only thing different about the one in the middle and the one on the right is the different way he painted it. Now, this artist, Van Gogh, had a very distinct way that he painted. He used these thick directional lines. You can see in the middle, that's his most famous artwork ever, called The Starry Night, where in the sky he has these really thick uh, directional lines that show the way he's painting. And you can see those same lines in his jacket on the right, and also through other parts of that artwork. This artist, Frida Kalu, is one of my favorites. Um, she has a very cool sense of style. And if you look, there she is on the far left, and on the far right is her self-portrait. Uh, our second graders know from last year that uh, we were trying to do a self-portrait like this with the animals in the background. Uh, if you look at her painting in the middle, a lot of fruits, a lot of animals, um, very similar cool color schemes that she's got going through all of her artworks. All right, this guy, Norman Rockwell, he is a famous American artist who used to work from photographs to create real paintings. If you look, um, here's a photograph on the left of a boy and a policeman sitting in a counter and the way he painted it on the right. And, and then on the far right, what we have is a painting of him, self painting himself. Uh, so he kind of is in there three times because he's in the mirror, he's in the chair, and then he's painting himself, painting himself. All right, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol has a very unique sense of style. Um, he altered photographs that he had of famous people, including himself and added lots more color to it. Simple colors, but bold colors. Keith Haring was a street artist, meaning both, basically most of his artworks occurred on the street where he drew them. Um, he also has a very simple, simple uh, but special style. Um, you can really see it in a lot of his artworks, just kind of like almost like doodles or emojis. And on the far right, we have an artwork that create, uh, Keith Haring created of himself. So it's a self-portrait. It's very simple. There's not a lot of lines to it. Simple lines and shapes, but it does look like him. All right, Yayaoi Kusami. She is a contemporary artist, um, and she has a crazy sense of style. Cool colors, cool patterns all through her artworks. So she's someone that you could maybe be interested in as well. And here's my favorite, no, not really. This is me, Mr. McD. There I am on the far left. Here's one of my artworks in the middle of a surfer. I told you guys already I like to draw surfers. And there I made myself into an artwork using the same style. 
that I create when I draw my surfer guys sometimes. So I like simple shapes, simple colors, and surfing. That's me. All right, so now that we've covered a few artists, I want to see who you are as artists. All right, so hopefully those slides uh, helped you get a better idea of what it is to be an artist and have your sense of style, and then to create a self-portrait using that same sense of style that you have. Um, for some of you, it's going to look completely different. How would you draw these? How would you create these? There's a lot of different ways. What I would tell everybody to do is start with a pencil and a paper and draw yourself. Um, however you think that would work best in your sense of style as an artist, but start with pencil and paper and draw yourself. When you're done, I want to see you guys trying to color it in any way that you can. Uh, if you don't have anything to color it in, you can use a pencil to shade it in as well. Um, but use markers, use crayons, use paint, use um, something where you're cutting and pasting stuff. There's really any way that you can do this if you're creating an artwork in your style, something that represents you as an artist. I can't wait to see what everyone's making. Um, I'll be checking back with you guys later in the week to see all the creations. Feel free to upload to Seesaw or Google Classroom, whatever you guys are using, um, so we can share and see what everyone's artworks are like. All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.